So we went to North Carolina a little bit ago. I guess it was about a year ago. And around that time, some numbers started showing up. It was 111, 111. You see it on clocks, you see it on video games, you see it on billboards, you see it on street signs. We saw it everywhere, and to today, we're still seeing it everywhere. But we kind of feel like maybe God's trying to hint something about 111. Um, we have not figured it out yet. It's been about a year now. But if you take a look at our Clockwork PM CD, the CD that just came out, if you get the actual CD and on iTunes, the disc points at 111. That was us hinting. We don't know what this is for. Maybe someone will find it. No, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. We are spending this summer doing something very stupid and creating a song every day. Um, originally, that was going to be like 105 days to take us to September. But instead, we realized, hey, that's six days away from 111. Let's go ahead and do that. Might as well, since it means something to us, I guess. So 111, um, 111 songs this summer. It's called Project 111. Go figure. Um, anyways, we hope you enjoy it. We hope you check it out. We were going to give us originally like seven days of time that we could take a break. Like that was a rule, seven days. But now we can't because we got to get to 111. So, song every day until September 6th, I believe. Check it out. Hope you like it. Um, here's today's song and tomorrow's song. Uh, and then the next song, next song, next song will keep coming. But for today, here's your first song. We hope you enjoy it. Check it out. I had this theme on a piano that I wanted to make a piano song for. I made a piano song for it. But I always wanted to make kind of like an orchestra, so that's kind of where this idea came from, but not just an orchestra, an electronic orchestra. Um, so this song was based off two different ideas. One was drum and bass, which ended up being more of a break sound. The other was minimalistic. Um, in case you don't know what either of those are, breaks is kind of like a more upbeat, kind of hip hop, um, kind of a step down from drum and bass, which is really fast, crazy, almost kind of got a hip-hop feel sometimes but not really um minimalistic on the other hand is very little stuff going on um and in college i know i applied something to my life from college it's weird but um there was a song this guy made where you have two pianos and you play um one part and then you can basically play the same part but start it on a different note and it ends up making this really weird, kind of disoriented, but flowing sound. Um, so this song actually starts off in 3-4, and then it goes in to 4-4. Four, four. So it's kind of a different feel. It starts off in 3-4, gets really disoriented about the middle because it's trying to change into 4-4, four, four, where it goes into the break section. So, hope you enjoy it. We'll have more tomorrow and the next day 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 and the next day. This was a really bad idea, but we'll see if we're up for it. And then at the end, we want you guys to choose the songs that we should use on a new CD. So you guys get to choose the best stuff for our next CD. All right, that's pretty much it. Gotta be quiet, he's easily awoken. And and if this works right, he'll meow as soon as he wakes up, you know. It's like a gurgly meow back. Like, Very quiet. Jacked in. 
You sleep all day so you can wake up at 5 in the morning and keep me awake, don't you? Is that why you do it? Jerk. You can go back to bed. Because I'm not going to be a jerk and keep you up. That's right, you can go back to bed. Go ahead, it's okay. Good night.